that the world is more concerned about the unbridled use of U.S. power than it is about the threat posed by Saddam Hussein. Uh, opening article in the opening sentences of an article in the Christian Science Monitor last October, which is an understatement because, in fact, the world was not concerned about the threat posed by Saddam Hussein because it didn't see any threat. They may hate even his neighbors, despise him, but are not afraid of him. They're not afraid of, they weren't afraid of him for very good reasons. They know that, uh, as everyone who's paid attention knows, uh, that Iraq was heavily damaged by the Gulf, first Gulf War, the decade of sanctions, which were a, a truly criminal act. The UN coordinators were not exaggerating when they called them genocidal, uh, drove the society to the edge of survival, a uh, large majority are on the edge of starvation. Uh, Iraq is the weakest country in the region. Its uh, military expenditures and its economy are about a third those of Kuwait. Kuwait has 10% of its population, uh, far below those of other countries in the region, and not even shouting distance of the regional superpower. The regional superpower is, in effect, an offshore military base of the United States and totally dominates everyone else in the region, uh, namely Israel. That's a small country, but being a U.S. military offshoot, it's extraordinarily powerful. Hundreds of nuclear weapons, uh, according to its own estimate, it has uh, air and armored forces that are larger and technologically more advanced than any NATO power outside the U.S., let alone any country in the region. And uh, people in the region don't have to be told that uh, uh, Iraq is not the, even though Iraq has only partially uh, conformed to a series of UN resolutions, there's another other countries that have totally rejected many more UN resolutions. Israel's one of them, Turkey's another, Morocco's another, and those are very serious resolutions having to do with aggression, uh, military occupation, uh, violations of the Geneva Agreements, means war crimes in our, ter our terms. They know all that. And they also know something else, uh, that the only reason that these countries are not in violation of more uh, UN resolutions, and in fact more serious ones, is that the United States won't permit it. The U.S. vetoes them. The uh, U.S. is far ahead of anyone else since the 1960s in vetoing Security Council resolutions. Uh, Britain second, nobody's within shouting distance. Uh, that brings up another point. Uh, if uh, Iraq had the veto, uh, how many UN resolutions would it be violating? Well, obvious answer, none. Uh, that means if any discussion of violation of Security Council resolutions even pretends to be serious, it's going to bring in the, it's going to bring in the veto. Otherwise, it doesn't even pretend to be serious. Uh, you can ask yourself how often this has been brought up in the discussion of uh, passionate discussions of Iraq's only partial compliance with a series of UN security resolutions, council resolutions. Uh, and the resolutions that the U.S. has vetoed, and remember, it's far, far in the lead, nobody's close except Britain, uh, are very serious ones. It includes, for example, uh, uh, several resolutions calling on all states to observe international law, which the United States vetoed with Britain abstaining. It includes resolutions uh, uh, calling on the United States to observe the rulings of the World Court, the International Court of Justice, which condemned the United States for uh, unlawful use of force. That means international terrorism uh, in its war against uh, Nicaragua, which Blaise mentioned. The U.S. simply disregarded it, vetoed the Security Council resolution, and a long series of others on a wide range of issues. These are not trivial matters, uh, and uh, it's not ancient history either. In fact, it's the very same administration which is in office right now. They're almost identical to the ones who ran the country from in the Reagan-Bush administrations. Uh, these are serious issues, and the people in the region are well aware of it. They are also well aware that however much they may despise Saddam Hussein, uh, he's not a threat. 
it's the weakest country in the region and far from uh, the most serious violator of Security Council resolutions. Now, this ought to be, everybody ought to know this. You know, this ought to be the front pages of uh, independent media, if there were any. These are close to truisms. You know, there's nothing obscure about these things. It's the kind of things you ought to learn about in high school, you know.